Ancient Taoists believed that the universe is a great conduit of energy. Taoists regard this energy as Dan or elixir. When translating the term Dan, it can be thought of as a pure substance. You can think of this the same way that we refine food into energy in our mitochondria. Dan is said to pervade all things at all times and is the force which always nourishes the universe. Just as this energy exists in the universe, Taoists believe that it also exists within people too, in special areas called Dantians. Where Dan can be considered energy created by refining a substance, Tian is the soil in a farmer's field that nourishes an acorn into a mighty oak tree. When you look at the character for Tian, it clearly represents land that has been partitioned for farming. Early Taoists viewed Dan as being a transferable energy that could be focused anywhere in the body, though it was thought to be concentrated in three main areas. These areas were named Xia, or Lower Dantian, Zhong, or Middle Dantian, and Shang, or Upper Dantian. There are two forms of practice for alchemy in ancient Chinese medicine. External, known as Wai Dan, and internal, known as Nei Dan. External alchemy is the predecessor to modern chemistry. External alchemists set up experiments with mineral, plant, and animal sources in an attempt to convert base metals into gold. One of the main goals of this alchemy, whether practiced in Europe or China, was to discover an elixir to grant immortality to whoever consumed it. This played a major role in the development of herbal medicines for promoting longevity and treating various illnesses. Eventually, this led to the modern science of biochemistry and pharmacology. Where external alchemy focuses on the outside, internal alchemy focuses on the inside. Internal alchemy is focused on purifying the human body and transforming the spirit to promote longevity. Remember, this method does not use external substances like drugs or herbs. This is a major foundation for the development of Qigong practices. The practice of Qigong meditation is used to refine Jing, or essence, stored in body fat and blood sugar, to promote the smooth movement and production of Qi, or our internal energy created by our metabolisms, and our mitochondria, to refine our spirit, or Shen. Strictly speaking, internal alchemy does not use external cat catalysts like herbal medicines. But of course, you can include both internal and external practices to promote health and vitality. As we've already discussed in this presentation, our bodies create energy in the form of ATP by combining the nutrients from the food we eat with oxygen. As we explore the three Dan Tian, keep in mind that only one of these areas actually creates energy. The other two store energy and utilize energy. The lower Dan Tian or Sha Dan Tian is the place where we absorb and create the nutrients that promote our energy metabolisms. This is where the potential energy locked inside of our food becomes usable in our bodies. The translation of this area as a field makes sense. Think of this place where acorns become active in the process of becoming mighty oak trees. It is the bacteria of the soil in this field, also known as our microbiota or gut bacteria, that converts our food into usable energy sources. Our lower Dantian produces energy 
just like a field in nature produces nourishment. Please also recall that this area is known as the second brain. The lower Dantian provides the energetic and nutritional nourishment for the brains in our heads, also known as the upper Dantian. There is a bit of confusion regarding which is the true lower Dantian and which is the false lower Dantian. The false lower Dantian is labeled as the point Qi Hai or Ren 6. It is also considered false because it does not directly create energy. This area of our body supplies abdominal fat, which through the process of deep abdominal breathing can be converted into Qi or converted into energy. But keep in mind that it doesn't create energy. Your intestines create energy. Now, abdominal fat, as an energy source, contains more than twice the energy that blood sugar does. So nine calories versus four calories. So body fat is a stored form of energy that can be used at a later date. But this area of the body does not actually create or generate energy. It only supplies energy in the form of stored body fat. The true lower dantian is the large and small intestines because this area of the body actually produces and digests the nutrients that are required for energy production in our mitochondria. The structure of the abdomen allows energy or chi to be stored at a very high potential. From there, it can supply energy to the whole body. And as we've already discussed, the second brain resides in our abdomen. The middle Dantian or Zhong Dantian is a bit trickier to define. The middle Dantian is focused around the area of the diaphragm at the point Shanzhong or Ren 17. When you look at the anatomy of the diaphragm, it is composed of a good electrically conductive material sandwiched between poor electrically conductive material. This is very much the way that batteries work. In a conductor, electric current can flow freely. In an insulator, it cannot. This allows our middle Dantian to act as a storage unit for the energy created in our lower Dantian. From a classical Chinese perspective, the fire energy in the middle Dantian refines the water energy in the lower Dantian, the same way a steam engine releases the energy in water to drive a locomotive. This makes sense since this area is the place where our bodies absorb oxygen and oxygen is what drives the process of converting our food and its nutritional content from our intestines into energy in the form of ATP. The upper Dantian is positioned at the forehead between the eyebrows. It is also called the third eye. This is where Shen, or spirit, is refined and cultivated. The upper Dantian is the limbic system in modern Western medicine, and it's located between the ears in the center of the brain. The limbic system is the portion of the brain that deals with three key functions emotions, memories, and stimulation or arousal. There are several important structures within the limbic system. The amygdala, the hippocampus, the thalamus, the hypothalamus, the basal ganglia, and the single gyrus. The thalamus is located within the brainstem and it's the pathway of information transfer into the cerebrum which is the section of the brain responsible for thinking and movement. Thinking, doing, and being 
or what define who you are. Your limbic system is the home of your spirit. It is largely correlated to your upper Dan Tien. Also included in this area is the pineal or the pineal gland. In lower vertebrates, the pineal gland also acts as a photoreceptor, meaning it receives light. So in other words, the pineal gland represents a third eye. The lower and upper dantian communicate through the spinal cord or the chong mai. The communication occurs here because the spinal cord is composed of material highly conductive to qi or bioelectricity. This enables the two brains to act as one. Physically, they're separated, but in action, they're actually unified. This is where the pure energy of your middle dantian is used to nourish your spirit. As we move forward into practicing various Qigong exercises, please remember these important areas of your body. You will be using specific breathing methods and physical postures to make and move Qi throughout your body using your three Dantian. 